What's up everybody? So today I'm shooting with the Sony a7 III, but it's gonna be a little different this time. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna record the viewfinder so you're gonna see everything that I see. So you guys can like just have that first hand experience of what it's like to shoot with this camera. I will be shooting with Diana, like the missus. Oh, you are ready. Shooting with the missus, so let's go. All right, so we're in downtown Chicago with the Sony a7 III, and you're gonna notice that I'm using eye autofocus pretty much for the whole shoot because it's so consistent. It allows me to focus on other things like posing and composition because I don't have to worry about moving my focal points around, which is really, really nice. And I'm working with my wife. Okay, well, see, that's obviously, that's normal interaction between me and my wife. <laughs> um, so here I'm having her pose uh, leaning on her front foot to give me like some kind of motion, like she's walking or walking down that path. Also notice how I'm using the white lines as a leading line and almost just creating that vanishing point uh, in the background. So this is what 10 frames per second look like on the Sony a7 III and the tracking is unbelievable. It's more frames per second than I need for my personal work, but it's always nice to have, especially when you wanna capture a split second moment like this. All of the images that you see in this video are unfortunately JPEG files and that's because Lightroom does not have a profile for these raw files yet but um, I did give them a little edit right and uh, editing JPEG files sucks because obviously there's not much you can do with them but I did give them a warm tone because that's just the kind of feeling that I wanted in this photo shoot so a lot of people question you know whether Instagram is good or bad for photography and regardless of what you feel about all that trendy stuff Instagram has definitely opened my eyes to different and more creative compositions that little streak on the ground there, that little light streak, I would have never thought of using that in, in part of my, you know, as part of my composition. But I wanted to give the impression that I, Diana was walking into that streak of light. So that's why I wanted her with her back foot up. And that's exactly what I got in this shot. I absolutely love it. This gentleman sent me a long DM and he was asking me for advice on working with your significant other. He's like, I hate working with her. I hate working with my wife. <laughs> I didn't know what to say. Well, people think that it's all peaches and cream when uh, we work together and... Oh, uh, you could have just asked me. What, what should I say? This is why I hide things. What should I, I say? I granola bars. I wonder what else you hide. That was a shocker. You're crazy. I hope you're recording this so that you can watch it and see how psychotic you are. It's granola bars. Stop eating all my granola bars and I won't have to hide them. We have come a long way because that's how we were. You know, I think it's so funny though, babe, because kinda cool. sometimes, hello. I'm, I'm right here. Um, sometimes, sometimes people, um, they comment on your YouTube video. Look at how she looks at Manny. I wish someone would look at me the way Diana's looking at Manny. And little do they know that was like our 10th take and I'm really looking at you like I'm gonna Oh yeah, kill. like she is. Yeah, yeah. So in the beginning of the video, I quickly touched on how the dedicated autofocusing button can save you some time when, you know, recomposing your shot, moving your focusing point around the frame. Well, here's an example. Notice how I'm focusing on the white truck, but I can instantly switch back to her by pressing that dedicated button. Now, obviously for this scene, it doesn't make any sense, but I'm just showing you an example. Imagine you're somewhere else and you quickly, you're switching your orientation from landscape to portrait or vice versa, and you wanna nail the shot and you have to move your focusing point all across the frame. Well, you can just press the dedicated button and get the shot, get perfect focus on her eye. So we were done with the shoot, right? Camera's in the bag. We're walking to Dunkin' Donuts to get ourselves some coffee. And I come across this LED sign. So you know what time it is. I asked Diana to take off her jacket and I asked her to pose near the sign uh, to put some sunglasses on. And sunglasses came in super clutch. You never know when they're gonna come in handy, you know? And here, I got some really cool reflections off them. It worked out really well. I could have paid for that. Look at, he wants to be in the movie. I don't need no man. I got 944. I don't need no man. <laughs> That's what she says now, but the moment clothes need to be folded, dishes need to be washed, and she needs a man. <laughs> then, then, then she I needs need a man. Hi everybody, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this style of video, I plan on doing more in the future. I upload videos every single week. So if you're new here, uh, consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of these videos. I hope they're helpful. Uh, with that said, have a great week. I'll see you next Monday. Peace.